Hey, I'm going to show you right now how to disable the magnetic timeline in Final Cut Pro X. Well, it's a workaround at least. So let's see what the magnetic timeline is first of all. You drag your clip in here and you start uh, cutting away little pieces. And when I delete one, it fills in the empty space. And you also move things around. It basically always stays, everything stays butted up against each other. So you cannot create spaces. Now there's one way that you can just create a space and that is using the position tool. If I drag this, I can move something over, but it's not really, what happens is it created a gap there. It's still a magnetic timeline. There's just this thing is there now. And if I delete it, everything is right back the way it was. So uh, some people, what they really like to do is they like to work in tracks. So you have all of one certain angle on this track, all of another angle on this track or whatever the case may be. Now, if you want to simulate that, you can do that. And we do use the same thing under Edit, Insert Generator, Gap. The same thing that it put in there when we use the Position tool. We can just put one in for the whole storyline. This gray part right here is the storyline, and that's the only part that's magnetic. Everything else attaches to that. So if you just take the storyline, you just fill it in with a gap. Now when you drag your clips in, just put them on top of there and when I go through clipping things I can just delete and I can work in. I've got real space in here the way you know you'd expect it to be with another you know nonlinear editor every other one until Final Cut Pro X that is so that's nice but then a lot of times let's say we want to have two tracks three tracks a hundred tracks whatever and we want you know to keep them straight by keeping them uh, this one on this row and this one on this row. So that works as well too, but you have a problem and that is when you get a place where this could drop, it's always going to drop. It still like sort of has gravity or something. It's magnetic. So the best thing to do is just essentially you know not cut that clip there and then it's not going to drop. But obviously that's not really a great solution. You also, you can't take a gap. The gaps will only go on that main storyline track. So there's one more trick that we can try, and that is a placeholder. You can insert a placeholder, edit, insert generator, placeholder, make it kind of small at first, put it in there, and then we can make our cut and this little piece doesn't fall down. Now the bad part about it is that placeholders do actually show up on your screen as this, you know, as this scene or whatever, but you could insert a solid media in there instead or something like that. That's pretty terrible workaround, but, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do with Final Cut Pro X. Okay, so one more little thing, and that is, if you do work like this, one thing that you do get, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, is you can now move things around in giant blocks. So I could take this whole block and move it over there and you know the magnetic timeline comes into play there and keeps everything all organized so if you did have scenes or some kind of sections you could put them there like that and uh, you know even stretch them out and add time in and stuff like that so you know arguably that's a nice little additional feature even if you decide to work this way so that's it thanks for watching hope this helped a little bit and uh, I'll see you soon